Hey everyone! Long time no talk. I hate this chair, I hate this table. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do like the Brittany Broski um, makeup look that I do on TikTok a lot when bursts of energy hit me at 3 a.m. because I don't sleep. Also, I had a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee at like 10 p.m. I just, I wanna look beautiful. So, Let's look beautiful today. By the way, none of this is like endorsed. Like none of these products are like, I use my code, Broski100. This is literally just like CVS. Serving drugstore realness for the girls. Let's do it. Okay. Also, do you like my bangs? If you say no, don't say no. Just say yes. Just say yes and smile. Am I Charlie D'Amelio little hoopy hoops? Little hoop dilly doop dillies? Okay. So let's start with the face first. I'm a powder girl. You will never catch me in, in, um, hello? Hello. Hello. Okay, what was I saying? I'm a powder girl. You will never catch me in like a dewy liquid foundation. That's just not me. I'm not her. I don't know her. You can wet your beauty blender. I used to, I used to, but then it absorbed too much of the product. So now I just kind of do it dry and I think it spreads it better because it doesn't pick up as much. <sighs> now that Jeffree Star is dead and gone, as is Shane Dawson, the pinnacle of the beauty community, y'all are left with me. You're gonna have to deal with me. I am the new, I am the new beauty. You wanna see modern beauty, 2020 beauty? You're looking at her. I've been going to the pool a lot recently and I made the mistake of checking the UV index, which the UV index, if you didn't know, pretty much how poisonous the sun is on that given day. It's a scale of one to 11, 11 being the most toxic. And in LA on any given day, it's 10. So um, naturally I went to the pool because I don't fear death. I do, that's a lie. And it was hot, it was hot today. It was like 93. Meanwhile in Texas, like my skin would be sliding off my bones because it's so freaking hot. There was a day last summer uh, when I still worked at the bank that I woke up because I had to be at work at like nine. <laughs> when I worked in insurance, I worked from 8.30 to 5.30. That is borderline, borderline illegal. I literally was doing like a 60 hour work week with no overtime. Anyway, what was I saying? When I worked at the bank, one day I got in my car, it was like 8 a.m. and my heat, like my temperature gauge inside my car read 109 degrees at 8 a.m. Okay, now I'm going on with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Poreless. Poreless and, and whoreless. Nothing against whores. I support my fellow sex workers. Why did I say fellow? Like, that's what I do. Imagine me as a sex worker. Hey! <laughs> hey! How you doing? I keep this in my purse with me too, because when you get kind of oily and greasy, it has the coverage, but also it'll cover your grease. Grease 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 was my favorite movie growing up. I think because I thought Danny Zuko was hot, but I think also because I thought Sandy was hot. Not in like a, am I? But in, in like a, I want to be her sort of way. Miss Sandy was serving b b b b b b oddy oddy oddy. Now I usually go in with, this was sent to me, I'll be honest. This was sent to me and it's like this cooling powder. It's by Becca and it is the weirdest shit ever. It's literally cold to the touch. Do you want to open? One time I tried to open this and my nail popped off. Like this one. <laughs> Oh, so I broke it. <laughs> it's like a toddler. It's like, it's like you let a toddler vote. And I just kind of tap into it and I do it where I know I get greasy. It's literally like cold. It's like it's been sitting in a refrigerator. I don't even want to think about like the type of chemicals that are in this to make it feel cold on my skin. And I just inhaled it. And you're watching Disney Channel. Dun, dun, dun. Next I do my brows and I just kind of fill it in where I need to. The guy I had a crush on in high school one time, <laughs> this is such a cute story, told me that my eyebrows look like commas <laughs> and now I have a complex about it. So next you're gonna go in with Mrs. Hula. And since I'm a Cali babe now, look at me. When you look up Cali babe in the dictionary, what do you see? This. And so I put it on my nose right here to make it look like I've been out in the sun. Nothing too crazy, but don't get crazy. I'm gonna do my Bella Hadid hot dog bun cheek. I started doing this, right? I just put it all over. I used to like, 
<laughs> but now I just put it all over my cheek. Good enough for me, I really don't care. Um, and now we go in with blush. Or as the British call it, blush huh? Rouge, if you will. Stop, shut. Shut the hell up, bitch. You're ugly, you are disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give, Give me $200. $200. To the ranch. Great, okay, now we can start on the eyes. To the ranch. Great, okay, now we can start on the eyes. So I really draw inspiration from 60s makeup Pinterest board. Like pretty much any time a makeup artist like recreates 60s makeup on a model, like this is what they do. So let's go ahead and do that. For this, you're gonna need a patience. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Teddy. Jason. If you had told me a year and a half ago, Teddy. Uh, one of these. You can't even see. It's a Morphe, I don't know. And just like a flat brush, something to put on a bunch of white with. Do I clean my brushes ever? <laughs> no. And then also just a... <laughs> Everything's dirty. <laughs> then just a big blending brush so you can, I don't know. Something is in me. Does anyone else have this irrational fear? I don't even wear contact lenses, but I saw that picture that went around like a couple years ago that was like, this woman had 17 lenses removed from her eyelids. They had slid up. I have a fear of that. Don't know why. Okay, I don't know what this palette is. Latte 2 by Dominique Cosmetics. It's pretty good. Um, I'm using this, just like any dark, darkish brown. I'm just following the natural curve of my bug eye. Um, if you have hooded eyes, anyone who has hooded eyes, just kind of bring it up where you want it, and then obviously use concealer to use do the cut crease, where I don't have to because I have a lot of lid space. It's easily achievable. You just have to create the illusion. And then bring it out just a little bit. I should probably zoom you guys in. Does that help at all? No. Ew, I look like Nickelback. Yeah. Make sure they're even, you know what I mean? Like, really like to go in and do sort of like a, um, like a blend, do you know what I mean? I'll just blend it. Once more, up top. Okay, so now that that's kind of where we want it. Let's add the white, brother, do you know what I mean? So we're going to take like a big, flat, <coughs> fluffy brush and just a white, any cream color packer. This is what makes your eyes look even bigger than they are. There's a lot of tips, because I'm all about the camp of it, the camp. She's already got big eyes, let's make them bigger. Do this where, you know, the focus is on the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the power, the influence, the bang, the part, the forehead. Now, what's next, you may be asking. Good question. Next is liner. NYX matte, what even is it? Matte liquid liner. She's the girl. She's the all-star. Okay, so I'm, I start on the outside and then I line it. And in 60s makeup, there's always an emphasis like right above your pupil, like, so instead of just, you know, lightly lining along your eye, bring it up more, but you'll see what I mean. I start out here and I stop right there where it's gonna like converge. Am I making any sense at all? And bring it more up right here, watch. Does that make sense? Do you see what I did? Oh, my eyes are burning. They're burning. Okay, so that's kind of what we should be rocking with. Do 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 do, just going on a stall to Laguna. Now on to what makes this look the gig, the gag, the moment, the zhuzh, the bottom lashes. I use, what the fall? Dude, what the fall? It's your space, it's your aria, she can't do that to you. Okay, NYX, that's the point. Elephine eyeliner. So I used to just do like, mm, 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 but I've perfected the craft. So I do like six or seven individual lashes and I draw them on with an eyeliner. The outer three, I make, I point them that way. So I point them down like that. And then these I just kind of, and I draw little triangles. You'll see what I mean. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. <coughs> you see how I've made them like individual <laughs> triangles. Great. How much my like everyday makeup has changed since August of last year. Oh my God, when did I upload my crackhead makeup tutorial? That was literally a year ago this month. How life has changed, wow. What? I need some wet shit. I need some bagging. Okay, this is how it should be. Oh. 
this is how it should be looking. Okay, next is just mascara and lashes. I use two lashes specifically. These are the best spider lashes I have ever used. I might have mixed up the boxes, but I think these are newsworthy by Bold Face Lashes. These are so good, but I wear these. Um, for like every day, lashes out. I saw them from another girl on TikTok where they were like, girl, where'd you get your lashes? And she was like, at Boldface. So I guess she had a sponsorship with them or something, I don't know. But I bought these with my own Christian hard-earned money. My money. Cause we're fueling the American economy. Don't forget to also do it on the bottom. Even though we drew on the lashes, you do want some normal lashes. Duo lash glue, just do it. I think I'm gonna do the classic Britney bun because I don't feel like doing the full 70s fantasy. Miss Bunella, Miss Bunty Broski, Britney Bunsky, Bunsky girl. She's a bun girl. <gasps> Where are my tweezers? For the first time in a long time the other day, I disinfected my tweezers. Crazy girl things. <laughs> Crazy, quirky. Uh You'll n you never know when I could do that. Okay, now for lips. I use, this is another TikTok. If y'all follow Smeggy B on TikTok, she told me this trick. So she uses the Soar Lip Pencil by MAC and just line. Okay, so the tip she taught me is just like only line the outside and then like blot it and then like that's it and then put gloss over it. That's like her look. But I like to make my top lip darker because it gives you that, you know what I mean? That look, I don't know why you'd want that look, but it gives it to you. Then I also go in with Velvet Teddy from MAC. Isn't she beautiful? Hold on, look. It's weird, but I kind of like it. Okay, let's go do my hair. Here's what you'll need. I use a scrunchie because I have zero hair and then like a shit ton of bobby pins and hairspray, but I don't wanna get hairspray. Okay, so I just separate the bangs that I want out, which is usually just what naturally falls out of like a ponytail. The pieces that frame my face. And then bring her up high. This is also easier if you have a brush, but I like making things difficult for myself. Just really make sure there's no blips like right here where people can see, or rather where the Instagram pic will end. <laughs> And I use a scrunchie because it makes my hair look fuller. It's a trick. So just do it twice and then you just spread her. And pull. So it looks full. You just have to like keep digging with it. You can't even see me. I'm sorry. I'll never learn. And then you just start pinning it down. But you need to stop with the video games like It's 3 a.m. After I've like just blow dried my bangs, they'll sit more on my forehead, but this is very much giving me very much middle part. That's as good as it's gonna get. And then I just sometimes straighten these and curl them around my face. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this 60s inspired Britney Brisky moment. Comment down below what you want me to do for more videos because I'm running out of ideas because I'm quite literally like I'm at my wits end mate like I'm literally done you know what I mean? okay love you guys bye